what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i have a 2022 f-350 and the customers complaining uh that we got a little bit of noise when it's engaging in 4x4 i've had a lot of comments regarding this noise and i want to know are you a victim of this 4x4 noise on your new 2022 f-250 350 all right guys let's talk about it Welcome back everybody, what is going on? Listen to the sounds of my voice as I tell you what's wrong with this Ford truck. You're getting sleepy and silly. Okay, I'm just kidding. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching us. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. We have an awkward noise here and it is only when the customer is engaging it in four by four. Now, I don't know if this is something you're experiencing as well, but it's definitely not coming from the passenger side. And I mean, it almost, it almost sounds like it's kind of metally, metally slash rubber. I mean, I don't think the new joints in this stuff. This is a first for me, and I don't know if the part on here is lubricated. White grease, no, we don't want white grease. Let me. Yeah, let me get this stuff right here. Let's see if we can get this noise to go away. Um, you know, if this is coming from the hub or the wheel bearing, I guess we won't know until we see what happens. So I have a, a rotating hook seal in here. I wonder if this would go away if I spray some lube in here. Doesn't appear to make any change. Yeah, what the hell is making that noise? I don't think it would be the U joint. I, I feel that for as fast as this is making the noise, I feel like it would be something in here and not necessarily this this rotating mass. I guess. I mean, I could put a stethoscope on here and see, see what the hell's going on. All right, here we are, Dr. Stethoscope. Let's see. Definitely sounds like it's this help to you. All right, let's take, let's take this off and just use this. Okay, it's definitely not the U-joint. It's coming from right here. Right here. It's really loud right here. Okay, so now I'm wondering, is this not only a squeak noise, is this also a vacuum leak? All right, let's try something. Let's go, uh, let's go for a little walk. Let's go over here to the toolbox. I just thought of an idea and I don't have any way for it to get out of four x four other than it losing vacuum. And I don't want to pull the hose off. So why don't I just crimp 
the vacuum line. See if that changes, no? Okay. No. Let me take let me take this thing out of drive. All right, here's a new one and I mean we can all agree if I had the light on that that is this right here and we saw that part spinning and that's the same thing that's happening within here is this is pressed down to the axle shaft and this is supposed to spin in the seal and I don't think that is doing it correctly on this particular truck because of the noise that it's making. Let's see if I can get it by hand. I'm really gonna have to get the gonna have to get the rotor off and everything torn down and get a little closer and see what we have going on. All right, check it out. I have everything off. The hubs off. Everything rotor. But check out the shrapnel that I found in here. It's like it's like this separated from itself is really really floppy around in here. I'm gonna spin the U joint. And this is just all all falling apart. I guess let me let me pry this out and we'll uh, We'll see what this looks like further. All right, here we go. I'm going to get my pry bar here. I have the, uh, the big pry bar. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but I, let me get my, let me get my, my photons. I am going to stick my pry bar right between here. And I'm gonna pry this axle shaft out. It's tough, so. I want to see what this thing looks like after after we get it out. Oh. Oh, almost. I don't want to go flying. Oh. Sometimes they're, they're in there. They're in there pretty good. All right, we got this out. All right, let's watch this come out. Look right here. Look, look how flimsy this thing is on here. That is definitely not supposed to be like that. All right, we're gonna pull this whole axle shaft out. This is the short one. Here it is, right here. But look at this, this is all all floppy it's not supposed to be like that at all now we got to press this off or press this off we have to we have to force this off the end of this axle shaft but let me put this in the vise all right look at all the remnants in there all them rubber flakes now let's go over to the bench I have it mounted in the vise and you'll see what I have to do I'm gonna get the air hammer and try to air hammer this off. I mean, I guess you could do it another way, but I don't know how how well that's going to work for you. Right, I'm going to use the uh, air hammer bit with a chisel. Let's see if I can get. I got this pointy bit. I'm going to go right here and just try to pop it up off its seat. That's it. I didn't want to damage this, but check, check this thing out. I wish it would separate all the way. It's definitely, definitely not supposed to do that whatsoever. You guys saw the other one, it was kind of, you know. This one is definitely messed up. Pretty crappy that it's only a 22 with 17,000 on it. There should be no reason why this is gone bad. All right, let me get the new seal and I'm gonna show you 
how you gotta hammer this down. All right, I've already gotten the new seal kit. There is the part number, and in this kit, you're gonna get a couple of O-rings for the hub lockout, new seal for the wheel bearing, four new nuts for wheel bearing to knuckle, a new snap ring for the axle shaft to wheel bearing, and then the three bolts that held the hub lockout uh, to the hub. And then this is actually a gasket that goes on the back of the hub lockout so that it seals uh, the face of that to the actual hub. Now here is the seal, brand new, not floppy at all. And in that kit, you'll get an installer ring that is supposed to go in the knuckle against this when you drive it in to the uh, vehicle. So what I've done already is I've gone ahead and cleaned up the axle shaft with some Scotch-Brite of the old green ceiling stuff they put on. And I have a completely clean surface to now mount our seal on. This is gonna be going in dry. And it's gonna be sitting on here like that. And then we're gonna switch over to the GoPro because I'm gonna show you what you need to do. You really need the correct tool in order to install it into the truck and install the seal onto the shaft. And this is the OTC seal installer. And it looks something like this. Mine's one piece. Some of these are separate here. So let me get set up and we're gonna drive this on to the axle shaft. All right, so now you see the tool. I have my stool here and I'm gonna use that to stand on. I'm gonna use it to get a little leverage because I need to be way higher than the axle shaft. So this is gonna go on here like this. And it, it's kind of on an angle because the way it's sitting in the vise. Um, but this is gonna drive the seal down on there, on there straight. So I'm using my Cornwell BFH. And let me back this thing up a little bit. All right, it's, uh, I think I did this in a, like three, three whacks. They call me the golf ball uh, whacker guy. Oh, I think we did it. I think that was, that was just two. Let's see, uh, let's see how it looks. Mm, let's see what that rust ridge looks like. Yeah, I think I'm. Uh, I think we're all the way down on it. I think we're all the way down on it, you guys. Take a look, right, right there. It's not going to go all the way to the bottom of the axle shaft. Just going to bottom out on um, on the seal. So now that that is. That's in. Um, we're going to need to take this back over to the truck because now we need to press that into the truck using this. All right, here's the axle shaft. I don't think uh, I don't think his U joint was the problem. Definitely that four x four hub shaft seal. So here we go. Axle shaft going in. Now you guys might be wondering how do you spline these up? into the diff well i'm going to show you and stick this in like this carefully carefully slide it in now i have went and cleaned the inside of that bore up and applied some trans gel to it now before i slip this seal in all the way i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to put a light coat on it just to slide it in and then i'm going to wipe all of the rest of the trans gel off in the bore once I get this thing all the way in. Okay. Now, go ahead and continue sliding this into the bore. Okay. Now, it can't really go in any further, but what you want to do is if you turn the axle shaft and you see the other axle shaft spinning, then you know the splines are all splined into the diff and it's transferring that motion over to the other side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look to see. Yep, I'm just turning this like this and I can see the other axle shaft move on the other side. All right, let's see how, 
Let's see how many whacks this one takes. Now we're up in the big league. It's my turn at bat. Hey, my name is A-Rod. All right, you're gonna drive this all the way in until there's essentially no gap. All right, let's just double check. Still got a gap. There we go. Now that was a difference in funk. Just wiggle, wiggle this out. No damage. Gonna go, gonna look how close the gap was. Remember where we pried right here against the uh, axle housing and the axle shaft. So we're gap wise looking all right so now what we're going to need to do is put the wheel bearing back in right here four nuts i'm going to wipe this out and i'm going to install the new spaghetti seal on the other side of that and it's going to seal that housing into this housing all right i've already installed the new seal right there put some uh, trans gel on it now this can go on anyway but you're going to want to make sure your wheel speed sensor hole duh is at the top because that's where the sensor goes so i'm going to push this in okay almost got it all the way sealed or all the way pushed in i'm going to go over to the other side and I'm gonna turn the wheel. Now since I had this pretty well lubricated, you're gonna to wanna to like, you know, cross draw the wheel bearing in, but this one I've gotten lubed up really well and there was really no corrosion on it and I keep dropping my nuts here. And this should be good to go. These are 21s and I'm gonna use the uh, wobble, 21 short wobbly woo. All right, I'm gonna tighten these front nuts first. Okay, I'm gonna turn the wheel so I can get the backside. wheel bearing is tight now what we're gonna need to do is put that c-clip back on but what I want you to do first is I want you to go back where you pried on the axle shaft and I want you to pry this just a little bit you'll see what I mean the groove of the o-ring is too far into the axle and it needs to be pulled out a little bit so that the ring land for the snap ring comes right in. Yep, came out just a little bit. All right, I have some special pliers from Cornwell. What's the number on these bad lads? Um, where is it? I don't know if there is one on here. There should be. I'm going to try to find it, but there is, um, if you guys notice, they're a little, little angled. So I'm going to put this in here like this. All right. I'm going to try to get this in as best I can. Get a long screwdriver and push the other side of the snap ring down while I release it. <laughs> See if I got it. 
Maybe. Only one way to tell. This is keeping the axle shaft to the wheel bearing. I think I got it in there. Oh yeah. Definitely. All right, I feel, I feel good about that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is put this gasket. We're gonna put this gasket on the four x four hub lockout. All right, for whatever reason, they give you two rubber O-rings. I'm not sure why the kit only is good for one side, but whatever. Put this rubber seal on all the way around. It's real greasy and it's all nasty. Now, you kind of have this paper gasket, paper foamy gasket. And what I like to do is there are some holes and some, some there are some holes on here and some pins on here. I'm essentially just gonna set it down over the one pin and just kind of, kind of do something like that. See how all the holes lined up? So I'm allow that to get smashed right in between here. This can be kind of a, a buzzard. Gotta find the right, the right angle on the dangle. Make sure this is on auto. There we go. I'm gonna rotate the outer housing to go right to these bolts. And these bolts are T27s. Three new ones they give you in the kit, like I was telling you. And you pretty much just run them down. There we go. All right, the only thing that's really left is to put the brakes back on and this freaking wheel. So I guess let's just sit back and watch while while we do while we do some work. All right, that's it. Everything is back on. Let's lower it down and repeat the same process that we did and see if we have any squeaking noise once this thing is in four by four. All right, we're just cycling the key because I had to do a bunch of maintenance while this was here. I'm on my last, my last key cycle here, I hear coming from the fuel tank. All right, let's go and start it. All right, if you guys notice, I'm already in 4x4 and I'm in neutral. Wheels are clearly off the ground and let's pop it down and drive. Wheels are spinning. Wheels are spinning. I don't hear nothing. All right, underneath it. Same thing as we did last time, but there's absolutely no more noise coming from this hub seal that you saw us replace on that axle shaft. I want to know in the comments, I'm going to be monitoring. I want to know how many of you guys out there are complaining of the same thing, whether it's from this side or the passenger side. This is a 2022 F350 with the same front hub seals that they've been using since the six liter day. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share. Ooh, that looks funny. I'll see you guys.